from NBC News. This is Today. No matter how old we grow and where we are in our lives, parent-child relationships can be very, very complicated. <laughs> That's true. They usually start off very smoothly until the dreaded teenage mm. year set in, as we see in a clip of Mean Girls that illustrates all too well. Hey, hey, how are my best girlfriends? Hey, Mrs. George. This is Katie. Hello, sweetheart. Just want you to know, if you need anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That's the best movie it's ever. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Help, here to help you navigate this special relationship through the decades is millennial lifestyle expert Chelsea Frost and Crossed and co-founder of TheMotherhood.com, Emily McCann. Hello, Hi. ladies. Hi. Boy, that's funny. When you watch a teenage girl like that oh turn gosh. on her mom, there is sort of a time in a young girl's life where they where they rebel like that, isn't totally. there? Totally. I love you. Get away from yeah, me. Yeah, I love you. Get away from yeah. me. <laughs> but you know what? Think about it. It's like, doesn't really make sense why that happens when you're a teen. Yeah. So channeling from my own experience, I'm 22 years old. I was just a teenager three years ago. <sighs> We're going through puberty, we're going through menstruation, mm -hmm. but we're also in this phase where your friends are your life. Yes. Yes. And how, want, many, yeah. how much bullying and, and peer pressure goes on within your friends? You take it out on your mom. Right. You can. You take it out on the ones you love, the, most. love the most. So, Emily, my, when we were teenagers, my dad had a phrase that said, let the sleeping vipers lie <laughs> while we were sleeping because we got to be kind of... <laughs> he, liked you, he liked you better when he you were sleeping? He liked us better when we were contained okay. at sleep. So, you have a teenage <laughs> daughter. What's like your that. advice to those watching about how to speak honestly about about the things that we need to you know with teenagers we hear, we hear so much about helicopter parenting and that hovering over our kids that makes them just want to run away and you know my theory is is we should sidle up we need to sort of kind of slipstream alongside in a way mm -hmm. that we figure out things that we can do together that we enjoy that's mm -hmm. going to allow us to have conversations and relationships mm -hmm. and connection but if they're pushing you away do you push in or what's what's the best technique for a lot of moms who are going through just what we saw there. You know, it's funny because sometimes when they're pushing away, they really are listening. Yeah. You know that idea that when we want to talk about those mm -hmm. conversations like mm -hmm. underage drinking or those risky yeah. behaviors, I keep hearing from parents in the motherhood who have older kids, keep talking. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. I, I think communication is key. You have to be able to have conversation, face-to-face -face mm -hmm. communication with your teen. And I think the younger you can have this open conversation with your child, the better the relationship will be as it gets older. Mm -hmm. I can't ever remember a time where my mom and I didn't talk about everything really? oh, wow. and she said even when I wasn't talking she was talking to me mm -hmm. and I learned that face-to-face -face communication is so young we live in such a digital age face-to-face mm -hmm. -face communication is still so, so important, important. Mm -hmm. so now let's get to, to kids about your age although you're not a kid but after you've graduated from college you're yes. growing up the, the lines get a little blurred right you're mm -hmm. becoming an adult Emily how do we handle that you know, it's so funny. When my daughter was in kindergarten, the teacher used to say to the kids to get them to focus, she used to say, stop, look, and listen. Yeah. And these kids were supposed to, like, <laughs> yeah. repeat it back, yeah, and that right. was the sign they were paying attention. And now I actually think about it for myself. I need to stop, look, and listen, mm -hmm. because and then I'll notice when I'm preaching and yeah. proselytizing and trying to manipulate them to do what I want mm -hmm. versus that two-way conversation. Do you listen more to your mom now than you did when you were 16? You know what? The millennial generation, that's people who are 18 to 35 today, we're graduating college with almost $30,000 worth of student loans. We're the most stressed out generation there has ever been. We are learning how to become financially stable. We need to learn from our parents more than ever. So again, this communication, open dialogue, these life learning lessons okay. are so important. All right, ladies. Well, really I wish we could get yeah. Keep going because then the relationship <laughs> yeah. gets taken care of your own yeah. parents. Yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you guys ladies, so much. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, coming up, something Jen knows firsthand. We're going to get the truth about twins <laughs> and how to look good when it's cold. I wish your sister was here, Barbara. I mean, me too. Look, look at Bobby Thomas. Bobby will warm us up with a buzz right after this.